Well, Stephanie, it's been so much fun to sit and listen to you and Tom Lee talk. And I love hearing that South African accent again. <laughs> it was such a part of our lives for a few years. But as a case yeah. manager, I want to drill down on some of these things that you've been talking about. You've mm -hmm. kind of covered a wide variety. And I want to get some more specifics that families ask about. And you touched a little bit on the roles of the social workers and the two tracks that they work on moving with the home-based children and the children that go into the orphanages. And you've got basically one social worker for each orphanage. Yes. And so when you're talking in your head, you're thinking about the very practical things of what the social worker's doing. Mm -hmm. To me, having lived in South Africa before and traveled in other neighboring Southern African countries, I still was not prepared for the challenges of transportation and communication in Ethiopia. Yeah. So can you talk a little bit more about what's involved when a social worker has to go out and get this documentation from the um, various government officials, how mm -hmm. far they might have to go, mm -hmm. and the time it's involved and the challenges? Oh, those are, yeah, those are practical realities I didn't think of as, um, w our social workers work in, zo in zones, which is almost like counties in mm -hmm. America, but we don't have tarred roads, so they hop on the motorcycle, if the motorcycle is available, because we have one motorcycle divided by three other people that use it on the compound, in, in the orphanages. So he has to go to, it doesn't help to make an, an appointment, because he first has to go see, is the government official there? So he sometimes, he often goes three and four and five times for one child's one document and he cannot move on to the next officials before he has this one in hand. And that is just part of the basic procedure. And then the communication part of it is, if he makes an arrangement today with a government official, and he says, let's meet for coffee tomorrow morning, macchiato we call it. If he meets him for macchiato tomorrow morning, they end up having macchiato. Mm -hmm. And then they talk about their family and their lives and their work and the economic situation. And then, oh yes, by the way, we're going for, for the documentation. Now the social workers sit with that presence in the back of their heads the whole time and that's where they are pushing to. So I'm not saying they meet for every document for a cup of coffee first. This is to maintain the relationship. And you cannot, get, you cannot secure any documentation without the relationship part. Africa is very relational. It is relationship first, trust second, and then you can accomplish your goals. So that takes, is a very, very time consuming thing. For, for a social worker to get one document can take from one hour to five days, mm -hmm. anything in between. And I know that is very frustrating for families, but that is the practical reality of being there. So that is part of the birthing process. We call it <laughs> because he would come back. Sometimes they would come back, and and the Soto social worker would say to me, "I just gave birth to this document," <laughs> and <laughs> through pain and agony. Yes, and then I know. Okay, this has been a three or four or five day process. And what if this zone that the child has come from is at some distance from Soto? Yes, because you have Kebeles, which are local police departments. They release the first document. Or, and then that it is a it is a trail effect so that nothing can be done until this document has been released and because family situations may change or the child situation may change so, um, the social workers need to go back to that starting point and get the document changed here in order to start the process all over again so when there's a delay that is the process they have to go back to the original starting point because if this Kebele member at any point learns that this parent, something has happened in the social structure of the family, and they don't know about it, they become extremely suspicious of us. And we work so hard to maintain the credibility and the trust and the accountability, um, which is very surprising to them. So once we gain the favor and their trust, only then can we move in and on into the next places of documentation. And it surprised me, you told me when I was there, that sometimes a social worker may have to go to one of these 
local Cabelli's, mm -hmm. and they don't have paper. Yes. They don't have a pen to write with. Yes. And he might have to take the, another trip to take the document with him and take something for the official to sign it with. And even if the stamp on the piece of paper is smudged and not clear, yes. it may not be accepted and at us, and they have to go back to the very beginning and start over to get a new stamp. That is very real. I forgot about that. Yeah. That is very real. Also, the um, we have now learned that our social workers travel with little packs of, you know, A4 paper. Um, the stamp is another issue because they don't use the stamps that often. So when a stamp is needed, their ink pads are dry. So I've now started giving them ink pads as well, so that every social worker has their own little kit, <laughs> stationary kit that they, that they travel with. That seems to work. But now you, you arrive with this, and the social oh, the cabinet member is not there. Hmm. He's not keeping office hours? He's not keeping office hours. No. No. He's taking care of other cases outside. He's um, just all visiting with his friends. It's a very social environment. So they maintain their own relationships and you have to catch them at the right time. Mm -hmm. So it takes four or five trips out there in the rural Auckland areas. And you know, when it's rainy season, it's very dangerous to drive there because it's slippery. Mm. So um, the social workers can drive up to a point and then they have to walk for the rest of the ways. So it can be one day's visit to get one document and they come back very excited mm -hmm. because they um, accomplished one document. Yeah. But it can be a repeated visit. So that causes, those are practical reasons of why we have delays.